from Sugar House in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm your host, Chris Hansen. Tonight, we're back at Sugar House in Philadelphia for some high stakes action. Cheese steaks, that is. Since this was our first time here, getting a good Philly cheesesteak was high on my to-do list, and I wasn't disappointed. I actually got a chance to tour the three most famous cheesesteak joints in Philadelphia. And since all the owners were gracious enough to host us, we decided to return the favor by inviting them to our table for a little friendly competition. We'll look at my visit to their restaurants in a bit, but first, let's get tableside to stake out the action. Sorry, I just couldn't resist. I guess here we say winner, winner, cheesesteak dinner. Yeah. <laughs> As we kick off day two at Sugar House, the buy-ins are between five and $20,000. Sean Deeb and Alec Torelli both taking advantage of the deep buy-in. We are joined tonight by the three cheesesteak kings of Philadelphia, Tony Luke Jr., Frank Olivieri, and Gino Vento. Poker Night in America brought to you by 888 Poker, where the world plays online. Lines are 25 and 50. The the day. And there is an option for a $100 straddle here it's tonight. It's not to do it. Like, yeah, because it's almost like, <laughs> it's almost like you sh <laughs> shouldn't be able to straddle from the button. Tony Luke Jr. will limp in. Yeah, I was thinking about that, but Olivieri it's, limps in. You have the same logic. Because it just makes it. everybody do it, and then it's like, the game kind of is like ruined, you know? So all three yeah. of the cheesesteak kings it'll, are in. It'll make some things go quicker. Yeah, that isn't I think good. it's just, yeah, we should just not do that, either yeah. of us, because then it's just like going to be too. Okay, I would do it. Anyway. Off yeah, it's like too boring of a game. Anyway. Yeah, that's why I said you, you shouldn't you be allowed to do it. Object, but yeah, we'll, we'll just agree not to do yeah, it. Yeah, because it's like do too boring of a game. To just only allow under the gun to straddle if you want. It's yeah, I agree. It's just too boring if, I, if me and you straddle on the button every hand. Much about the race. Anything? <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> it's your world, man. I don't know about that. <laughs> when you're the first, the bet it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you don't have a hand, sorry. All the people who serve sandwiches for a living. Yeah. <laughs> this should be a juicy pot. Queen on the turn. <laughs> you ruin all the puns that Chris is going to use later. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, Schneider, step off my lines. Everyone checks around. River gives Tony Luke Jr. two pair. Luke bets 400. Put that because somebody else's money anyway. 400 is a bet. Epic one. All right, let's see some well, cards. This is a real cheesesteak battle. Wow. Got it. No, oh, he's got two pair. And this battle of the cheesesteak kings will go to Tony Luke Jr. winning our first hand of the night. Nice play, Tony. Thank you. I like him better when he smiles. <laughs> <laughs> people say, every time people see me, they say, Phil, you lost weight. Yeah, maybe TV adds weight. Yeah, oh yeah. It does. Exactly. Yeah, that's my excuse. TV adds a few hundred pounds, TV yeah, adds. Yeah, that's why I'm wearing black. <laughs> <laughs> It's a compliment in one sense, but then you think about the million people that saw you on TV that think you weigh more. I said you lost weight. That, that's always a compliment. Yeah. Unless you're a woman and you say, well, I was fat before. But that's just always a compliment. I haven't seen you since last summer, so I don't know. Yeah, you don't even go out for the summer anymore, do you? No. The last, like, three years I was in Macau, and then I just, yeah. Yeah. Gave up on tournaments mainly. Last year, like, I missed, like, three, four weeks of the summer, and it felt so great. Like, it was just yeah. such a, like, <laughs> coming from, like, my grinding days, like, just to be able to leave during the World <laughs> Series and stay at home, like, just... Yeah, you were a sick grinder, though. You played, like, so much online. I was like, online the and, guy, yeah. Yeah, you were, like, the Check. volume guy. Yeah, that's a non-sustainable method. It's, like, really hard on you. Yeah. I was amazed I did it for as many years before yeah. burning out. I can't wait to get back to the World Series, because I just don't play enough. Well, you but that's like your have, thing, yeah. you know, and that's what you do, and you if like I it. If I had one bracelet, I'd probably play more World Series events, let alone 13. 
Yeah, I mean, it's more inspiring when yeah. you have a lot of rares. Uh, you just get so much more motivated like a 1,500 res. Like. I can't wait for that turn. I know. That's, yeah, because you that's know you got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> that res is a great I know that's one of your You're favorite like, That's exactly why I named I'm going it. in at 1% to win. I mean, there's 100 people. He's way better than 1%, Matt. No, or whatever. Yeah, like, so, just one out of 100. I, know. I think I'm better than one, a lot better than that. Of course, but just there's 100 people. How dare you insult him? <laughs> no, no. You, You're obviously. probably like 5% Obviously, to win, you have right? to no, run it up. Too big. It's like you know, four or 500 people. Oh, well, then, of course. Then if you're one percent, that's yeah. pretty good. I guess there's just like two hundred people that are just like yeah, zero to win. Sorry. I don't know. You say that about no limit though, but people get surprisingly deep. Yeah, but getting deep and winning are two different things. Check, check. Luke and Shaq yeah. both check, and Tony Luke. Look at this. He is showing the pros how it is done. Two for two tonight on Poker Night in America. Nah, better race king than that. Oh, yeah. wow. That's what I thought. Plus draw, straight draw, over. overs. Tony Luke off to a strong start so far. And after the break, we'll see if he can keep the heat on when we return. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. One of you guys, you should do something like the first guy to lose his chips has to work in the other guy's store for a couple of hours. Ooh. Oh my God. That's great. And, and have a great like delivery. I think there might be some lightning there. going on there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, uh, like, welcome That's to the Gino's. The there would be a lot of press. The, the photo, <laughs> yeah. The, all the wall will be plastered with those photos. Yeah. They'll oh be my, on the billboard. My <laughs> licensees will love that one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's nice being corporate, though. They My can't parents do that haven't much. finished their estate planning yet, so I might not want to do that. <laughs> what happened with Mark Cuban? That sounds amusing. He said something about something to the effect he insulted Dairy Queen, work, like unintentionally. Publicly like, or something? He said, my Dairy Queen workers would have been better than my team tonight. Right. And then Dairy Queen contacted him. And, yeah, that's uh, kind of. And he went to work. He was a good sport. He knew he knew he was out of line, and he went to work for Dairy Queen for one day. How long? One day. What a legend. I mean, kind of like undercover boss. I mean, yeah. we know Cuban's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> for sure. I like I like uh, Cuban. I mean, the comment was a little condescending, but it's still yeah, well, like, a legendary response. But he yeah. owned up to it. Yeah, that's yeah, that's cool. the thing. Everybody makes comments that are like unintentionally. He's like, off the cuff, like yeah. Yeah. He's aware that when it, you're a public figure, it's like you're gonna say something once that's yeah. Offensive to someone. What's the worst thing you've said, Phil? I put my foot in my mouth many, many times. You own up to it, though. That's really cool. I'm good at owning up to yeah, it. Yeah, you are good at that. What have you said, Phil? Tell us. I knew that was coming. As soon as you did it, I knew that was coming. <laughs> what did you say, Phil? Like, I knew. I was waiting for Frankie. Well, you're in the middle of a hand, so I'll sit on the sidelines for a second here. So we got to go outside to go to the bathroom? There's a tree. Yeah, There's an alley yeah. right down the street. It's right. like a re-raise. Did he say call? Or? I don't think he meant it that did he, way. What did, did he say anything? He, he, he meant to You got to go with his intention on this one. Let's give him the money back. Yeah, you got to give him the money back. It's clear. Hi, Frankie. Well, here's the flop brought to you by DraftKings. I guess I'm buying dinner tonight. Oh, I'm first? Yeah. Check. The red purple one. Thanks. What's that, seven what? Holloway going to continue with his story that he's got a big hand. That's right, buddy. Yeah, no Gino. backing down. Gino, you can just think how many hours would any of us survive working in the store, you know? <laughs> so you can survive where we work. All in. All in. That's a good point. It's do or die now, brother. And my mom is a huge gambler. She loved it. Yeah. She's probably channeling me. She's like, <laughs> she wants to be here. Yeah. Uh, my grandfather loved all that oh. stuff. Like that was coming from a family of gamblers. Like my gram, the old swim never played the World Series main event at '94. I want to play so a little like, longer. It's just great. She still plays all the time. Thank you. Yeah, I was telling these guys. I said, uh, Mom, like gambling so much. Donald used to fly her around. <laughs> you know, she put on wings at the Taj. Oh, I, I, wait, I've seen you online. I'm, I'm not calling you an idiot. I'm, I'm just saying. I see you call a lot of people idiots. 
didn't come through. Can I give you my WhatsApp? Unfortunately, I've been quoted as saying that too much. No, one of my one of my Alec M. One of my employees was showing me videos of you online, and I'm like, oh my gosh, really? Yeah, you'll get you'll get one of those tirades. Yeah, sorry, man. I just I told you my phone was like a limp in from Olivieri. Acting up. Actually, the Phil won't do that to me. No one like me. They'll take mercy on me since I'm in like it. Really hops in with three novice. You never know. Sometimes I can't control myself. <laughs> All the way wants a little bit more in there. He raises it up to 400 with kings. Would you raise 400? 400. <laughs> How much do you have, Ted? Um, round six. All right. Here's the flop. The case king makes an appearance, as does another three. So Torelli and Holloway both have sets. This one's a little shrewd. Yeah, this one. Me? Yeah. He's doing. He just moved in. I got my poker face on. <laughs> Holloway betting his set. That's 700, and Olivieri calls. All in. All in. Come on. Torelli's all in. Quick call from Holloway. Set of threes. I would have guessed set of threes. Wow. Set over set. What a sick beat. He could still win with hard heart. <coughs> Phil had just to say it. it. I threw away two hearts, by the way. Nice hand, Jeff. Never easy. Thanks. Chad Holloway going to scoop up a $13,000 pot. There is plenty more poker to come, but when we return, we visit the spot where the cheesesteak was invented next on Poker Night in America. DraftKings, the official fantasy sports site of Poker Night in America. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. No trip to Philadelphia can be complete without chowing down on the sandwich this city made famous, the Philly cheesesteak. Here's what happened at the first stop on our Philly cheesesteak tour. This is where it all happened back in 1930. Undisputed originator of the steak sandwich. My great uncle Pat, my father's father's older brother, had a hot dog stand right across the street over there. And every day he sold hot dogs, and one day he got tired of eating hot dogs, so he sent my grandfather to the butcher, and he got some meat and cooked it up on the hot dog grill. The cab driver ate a hot dogs every day. He said, well, it's really great. Can you make me one? I, I took a plate and said, this is great. Forget about hot dogs. This is the kind of sandwich you should sell. And that was the invention of the steak sandwich back in 1930. Chicago has the deep dish pizza. You know, Buffalo has the wings. We just have the cheesesteak. So it's just something that's like a comfort food for Philly. Is there a day that goes by that you don't actually eat a cheesesteak? Yeah, I slept in one day. <laughs> I've been eating them all my life. Three wins without. Three wins without. So without is without onions. Without is without onions. Okay. Potato cheese and cheese whiz. We have mushrooms, we have peppers. You know, market cheese, provolone cheese, pizza sauce. No lettuce and tomato. So now you're putting the cheese whiz on after. Is there a secret yeah. to that? Well, what happens is every time that spatula goes into the whiz, it takes a little bit of the flavor of the onions and the steak with it. And the cheese whiz tastes uh, so it's less starwell. It kind of gets seasoned a no, little bit. It's seasoned, well, yeah. Have you ever done the math on how many different ways there is to make No, I never way? did. Anybody do the math? You ever do the math on that? Probably more ways to win a poker. Wow. Well, there's only one way to win a poker. Well, two ways to win a poker. Have the best hand or make someone think you have the best hand. Exactly. Do you want to try yourself? I was going to say, I want, to, I want to at least order one and see if I can get I want a whiz wit. Okay, whiz wit. Pat's King of Steaks, South Philly's original. Oh, man. Oh. That is where it is at. You know, it's amazing how it all just comes together. You can't replicate that. No. You can't make that at home. No, you can't. I, I swear, it was not acting. That sandwich was just that good. Now let's get back to the game with the cheesesteak kings of Philadelphia. It's me. Olivieri calls the straddle. So 
So does Dan Shack. Gino Vento calls with King Queen. Leave it to Sean Deeb. It's 550 with Ace Queen suited. Get a call from Olivieri. So five hundred to me now. Four fifty. Oh, four fifty. Discount. Oh, discount, discount. I get. Yeah. Well, he's in. I'm. I, did, I feel like a pony now. Like the pressure's on. Like <laughs> just that smiling face over there. I don't know. I just made a mistake. I think. <laughs> You made a mistake by letting him in? No, by staying in. Oh. We'll see. <laughs> you got three more There's cards. There's still, yeah, 60% you of your hand is coming. that big. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just on the flop. It's a long walk to the door. And a set of three shows up again. This time it's Olivieri who's got him. Gino Vento hits top pair. Ah, might as well call. It's only 500. Now 3,400 in the pot as we go to the turn. And now a full boat for Olivieri and three kings for Vento. Owen. So it's going to be tough for him to get away from this. Let me guess what you got. <laughs> Let me take a while. A long yeah. walk to the door. <laughs> how much is there? Ooh, how much is there? Oh, man. Could be <laughs> 1,600, 1,700. Ooh. This would be the punch heard round the world. I know. Dinner pot. Yeah. I'm good because at least I don't got to value meal tonight at McDonald's if I win. Yeah. And then. Two ways. Okay. All in tournament style. Tournament style. Oh, this is good. We've had this is, this is wonderful. Uh, right <laughs> turn them up. This is good. <laughs> turn them up, guys. Let's see turn them up. Flip them up. Flip them up. You guys are all in. So Flip them up. That's a full Ooh. house. Ooh. Wow. Wow. That's a full Oh, my God. You need a paint card. You need a queen. Any paint. No. Oh. Oh. Olivieri doubles up. Well, he smacked me too, so we're, you know, it's only right he gives you a smack too. Well, that online poker, I should be wearing a Zynga hat. <laughs> There's plenty more of Poker Night in America yet to come, so stick around. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Thanks for returning to Poker Night in America. I'm your host, Chris Hansen. Let's get back to the action. Yeah, I like the spotlight. <laughs> I'm just, just saying. Really? Honestly. Uh, I don't know if you knew, but yeah, I like the spotlight. Yeah, we didn't know that. Both Torelli and Schneider have limped in. Almuth also limping with four. One of you guys is a, a music guy, right? Which one? Me. Do you? What do you play? I write. You write right. and sing. So do I. Yeah. You write and sing? I do? Yeah. Shaq calls and Vento checks in the big line. Here's the flop brought to you by DraftKings. Helmuth is ahead with a set of fours, but Shaq has that nut flush draw with the ace of hearts. I'm trying to think of my favorite articles I've done about everybody. Yours was the scoop wins. Like, you know, that made a big thing. That was a crazy couple weeks. It was really because, like, after I'd win, I'd go out drinking till six in the morning every night. Like, I drank so much that, and I would just wake up in four hours to play the next day. Like, all my friends in Mexico were like, couldn't believe like that I'd be out and like be up in four hours. Like, it was my schedule. I just, I need to go out drinking after every night I played. Yeah, well, I mean, once you start winning, and then you keep doing it. Yeah, you gotta do it. 
or when you get things and lose. Like, yeah. So I said, if you play poker, you got to, you know, you don't really play for the poker all the time because it's like you, you don't get that many exciting like hands. Yeah, exactly. You don't get that many exciting hands. Crazy. So, so you got to have something else going for it. 1600. So it's the conversation to keep you coming back to the table. Spends yeah, conversation. I, like, I like the people I play with usually. I wouldn't play if I didn't like them. Yeah. The, it's not, not much not left for the money. Like, if you're not going to be entertained, enjoy yourself. Like, yeah. Just, no point. But yeah, exactly. You don't have to do it. That's a raise. Thirty-five. Raise. Raise. Yeah, there's always interesting people, like, everybody's from a different place, and... And Helmuth calls off the rest of his chips. Looking for 25. Looking for the board to pair on the river. Yes, sir. It does not, and Dan Shack is going to win a big $7,900 pot. Hey, I finally flopped the set. It took me all day. I would have made a flush, too. <laughs> I would have. Nice hand, Dan. Thanks. So well, it looks like Helmuth's reaching back into the pocket for another $5,000 rebuy. And as we check out how much money everyone's got in front of them, it looks like the biggest bankers so far are Dan Shack and Chad Holloway, both north of $8,000. For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or connect with us on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, where you can see complete episodes and unedited live streams. Also, be sure to check out our online store for all your Poker Night merchandise. For everyone here at Poker Night in America, I'm Chris Hansen. If you're ever in Fargo, we'll get you some Ludafisk. Fargo? Luda what? Ludafisk. Norwegians, when they came over here, they're very poor. They we literally put this here. stuff in lye. Like, they put it in poison, and then they boil it, and you have Ludafisk, which basically tastes like fish jello. That yeah. sounds there great. There is nothing <laughs> else in the world that I would not want to taste than fish jello. <laughs> I'm going to stick with cheesesteaks. Thank God we're from Philly. Thank God.